Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. My name's Colin, call sign MM0PX. I just want to do a little update in this video to the um, phased verticals um, that I've been working on. So, um, if you've been following the channel, you, you've known that I've not been able to orientate them exactly how I wanted them. I wanted to orientate them um, northwest and southeast, um, but I couldn't do that just with some of the furniture that I had in my gar garden, namely uh, uh, a metal swing, a metal slide, sorry, a shoot we call them here. So that's now been moved, so I've been able to orientate the antennas um, in said configuration. Um, and tonight it's actually the um, um, CQ um, WPX contest SSB. So what I thought I would do is was set up the antennas. Now I apologise for not setting them up uh, during the day, um, but just with family commitments I couldn't do that. So I've had to set them up in the dark. Um, and I've, actually, I've got the radio, so I've got the 705, I've got the computer with the uh, contest login software. Not particularly really interested in the contest, but what I want to do is have some signals on the band so where I could actually test um, the front to back, namely. And uh, what I found was it wasn't as pronounced the last time as I maybe perhaps thought, thought it would be or could be or should be um, in comparison to the um, 20 meter uh, phase verticals, which are really really impressed with those um, so it's an absolutely horrible night out there I hope um, it's not too noisy in here I have my heater on in the background um, it's turned cold here in Scotland so um, I think what we'll do is I'll just do a quick quick video outside so I apologize in advance for the audio because it's really quite windy but we'll have a quick quick look outside then we'll come back to the radio and we'll see uh, we'll see if we can work one or two stations and if we've got any front to back so this is an actual horrible night, as you can see the wind hammering down there, so I won't hang about too long here. So um, there we have one of our verticals, up here linear loaded on 40 metres, and previously you'll know that I had the other one over here, but where I had the um, slide, or the shoot, um, this is now a wooden swing. So I was quite happy to do the change, so that this, the shoot is now over here. Um, so there we have our um, second vertical here, again, and in the orientation that they're in, so this sort of direction that I'm facing here is um, northwest, so that's uh, facing the states, or most of the states anyway. So that's the, uh, that's the antennas, I won't go into too much detail, you'll have seen these before, you'll be bored to death of me talking about these um, phase verticals. So, um, so yeah, so that's the setup if you've not seen it before. Um, here's the control cables, really, really rough and ready. <laughs> So there is the, uh, the really switching box there. So I have the, um, the feed lines and then the uh, delay line which is in the middle. And the little blue cable you see there, that's the uh, switching line. And then the, uh, the other line, this one here, this is the one that goes to the radio. Right, let's go and have a little look at the radio and see if we can see some front to back. So here's just a very quick rundown of the setup. Now you've seen this before. So I'm um, obviously running the 705 inside this little go box. And then uh, I've got my laptop, and this is the N3FGP. I quite like this. It's very simple software. I bought the lifetime um, license way back when I was um, first licensed in, in 2011. So I have all the, um, the contest programs there. So it's, it's quite simple to use. Um, and obviously, this is the switching box for the relays. Mike, Mike, Zero, Oscar, Papa, X ray. Mike, Mike, Zero, Oscar, Papa, X-Ray. Again? Mike, Mike, Zero, Oscar, Papa, X-Ray. Uh, Mike, Mike, uh, Zero, Oscar, Papa, X-Ray, you're 591425. Uh, uh, QSL, you are 59004, number 4. Number 4, thank you. Sugar Norway, 3 Alpha, contest. It's the German station. So S9 point east or southeast, and he's down to about S7. So that's quite encouraging. But two S points, or almost two S points anyway. That's quite good. Bearing in mind that um, the phasing is actually optimized for seven um, decimal one five zero. 
Yeah, a little bit of difference here. Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray. Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray, your 59193. QSL 193, your 59005, number five. Number five, 73, Delta, Papa, 7, X-ray, contest. Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray. Uh, Mike, 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 zero. Mike, Mike, zero, o Oscar, Papa, X-ray, Oscar, Papa, X-ray, five, nine, Zero zero seven. A negative my number. Mike Mike zero Oscar Papa X ray. You are five nine one six six one six six and please repeat my number again. QSL zero zero seven number seven. Number seven, thank you very much. QRZ Papa. November Echo Hotel Bravo Nine. November Echo Contest. Mike Mike Zero Oscar Papa X ray. Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray, 591473. Uh, QSL 1473, you are 59008, number 8. Uh, zero again? Yeah, number 8008, number 8. Sorry, again? Yeah, 0808, number 8. 08? QSL, QSL. Hotel Bravo, November, Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray. <laughs> My number eight nine five eight nine five. Eight nine five eight nine five. QSL QSL, your five nine zero zero nine number nine. Number nine, thank you. Sir, the Papa one November eighteen. Seven seven Mike Papa Charlie five nine one three three three. Five three ten. Here you go. Four X ray. Mike Mike zero Oscar Papa X ray. Yeah, Oscar Papa X-ray, Oscar Papa X-ray, your 59010, number 10. Mission Papa X-ray, thanks. India Oscar, 4 X-ray. Zero Oscar Papa X ray. Again? Mike Mike Zero Oscar Papa X ray. Mike Mike Zero Oscar uh, Papa X ray. Thank you. Good evening. Your five nine seven eight and nine. Roger. Yeah, was it seven eight nine seven eight nine? It's Roger. Your QSL, your five nine zero one one, number eleven. Number eleven. Have a nice weekend, sir. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, and Pura from Delta, Delta 2, Charlie with Papa 7, Vista Charlie contest. Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray. Oscar, Papa, X-ray. Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray. Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray, 591586. QSL, you're 59012, number 12. One, two, thanks. SP7, Victor. Oscar Mary 7 7 Papa Alpha Contest. Tango Alpha. Tango Alpha 3 Delta Juliet 591351. Right, folks, going to wrap things up here. Um, certainly, as far as the video goes. So, local time here is um, 9.26 UTC. So, it's getting a little bit cool, but I do have the heater in here and it's, um, it's been not been too bad. So, uh, what can we summarise from this test? Well, it certainly made a difference when I had the um, the antennas facing um, north, uh, west, south, east. Um, so I seen more pronounced front to back on Italy, especially, but then not as much on the Russian stations, which would make sense. So I guess it's your choice whether you want to put it east, west, or how I have it. Um, and I did have a little blip tonight there that I didn't didn't show you on the video 
all of a sudden I noticed that my SWR went very high and I couldn't quite understand why. So I, I nipped outside, had a look at the antennas, everything looked fine. And then I noticed that I had my switch box, so the this, and it was sitting on the, um, the broadside setting. And then I, I checked it on east and I checked it on west and it was fine. So for some reason the SWR is high on broadside. Now, when I set up the antennas, the SWR, although the dip was both at 7.150, one antenna was um, about 1.3 to 1, and the other antenna was about 1.8 to 1. So I'm assuming it's just the difference um, between the SWR, and that's purely how um, both, I, both antennas are identical, and that's purely down to how they are situated and where they are situated in my garden. When I had them east west, I didn't have that issue. So they're working. They're working. Um, so that, that's the main thing. So I, I think I've I've got to the bottom of that. I've got 15 contacts in the log um, for the contest. I'm really impressed with that. I, I didn't actually think. I didn't actually believe that I would get as many contacts as that, and, and I got them in so easy. Now bear in mind, I'm only running five watts here. I'm not running a lot of power. So I really think it's it's got to do with the antenna. And I really think they've given me that that bit again, and it's it's working. So um, I'm pleased, you know. So I, I'm seeing more front to back than what I've seen in my last test. So that's good. That's that's uh, that's given me a lot of confidence. Nothing miles away. Um, it was um, you know I think looking at Bulgaria, Poland, Switzerland, um, Slovenia, Croatia, uh, France. Uh, what else did they work? Germany, Austria, so yeah, so a fair spread over um, Eastern Europe, so yeah, so really, really pleased, 5 watts, um, it's, it's just a great achievement to work QRP, I, I'm really, really enjoying it there, could have brought out the 590 tonight, 100 watts, and I would have worked more stations, but you know what, what I've actually tried to work tonight, just searching pounds, I've actually worked, um, you know, I think there's only been two, possibly three stations, that I've tried to work and I've not managed to get them. So, um, if you haven't already subscribed, um, please think about doing so. If you can actually put up with my waffling, um, give me the thumbs up, that would be much appreciated and that would put the video in, the, in front of lots of other people, which I want it to do. Uh, so, I tried to keep it short, but uh, I failed miserably. Okay, 73, and uh, we'll see you on the next video again.